What's going on guys? It's Justin. Uh, UFC 134 just ended this weekend. Anderson Silva versus Okami. Anderson Silva, pretty uh, dominating performance. That was <laughs> an interesting fight to watch, you know, once Anderson Silva loosened up and you could just tell, you know, Okami was scared shitless, you know. Anderson Silva dropped his hands to the side and just tore into him and finished the fight. Uh, nice showmanship there as well. Uh, another little uh, pet peeve, Joe Rogan was not commentating at UFC 134. Uh, you know, he's back taping Fear Factor, so he was not commentating. They had Kenny Florian commentating, which I like Kenny Florian as a fighter. Wouldn't recommend him as a commentator. Um, you know. And another thing, the Ross Pearson Edson Barboza fight. I was pretty disappointed since I picked Ross Pearson and just finished watching that fight for the third time. And he obviously won the fight, won the first round, uh, lost in the second round. Obviously, Barboza won that round, knocked him down, landed another nice combination. But then uh, I think Pearson won that third round for a 29-28 win. Also went online to uh, fightmetric.com. If you guys haven't checked that out, uh, go back over some of the old really close decisions. And they have uh, just a complete breakdown of striking, grappling, overall aggression, you know, everything. And they also have uh, Ross Pearson winning 29-28 in... Uh, the 10 point must win, must win system and in the fight metric system. But I will take that loss. It's okay. Judges screw up sometimes. A decent amount of the times. But uh, moving on, UFC 135. We have Johnny Bones Jones against Quentin Rampage Jackson taking place in Denver, Colorado on September 24th. Uh, so about little over three weeks away uh, pretty disappointed with the rest of this card actually you know you have, uh, you have Matt Hughes versus Diego Sanchez that's gonna be an interesting fun fight but uh, yeah the rest of the cards pretty disappointing uh, you know obviously they spin up a lot of their talent on Brazil but I really think they could have pulled together a better card for 135 Obviously, the headliners are great fights, but that's about it. So, we'll go ahead and get into it. Uh, John Jones against Quentin Rampage Jackson. Uh, I like Quentin. You know, I do. And he's looked better since he's came back from all of his uh, his movie deals and stuff. Uh, you know, but John Bones Jones is just a crazy, dynamic, versatile fighter and striker. And, uh, you know, Quentin Rampage Jackson... It's kind of a, uh, a one-trick pony. You know, I mean, he tried to show a little bit in his last fight. Got a takedown. Threw a head kick. But uh, he's just going to get out striked. I would like to see Rampage win. I really would. But I'm going to take John Jones by knockout. You know, he just he utilizes so much more of uh, mixed martial arts than Quentin does. And if... John, Johnny Bones Jones wants to take it to the ground. It's going to the ground. If he wants to keep it standing, it will stay standing. So, you know, he's just going to dictate this fight. Uh, moving on, Matt Hughes versus Diego Sanchez. Kind of a uh, return fight for both of them. Been a while since uh, both of them have last fought. Really big fan of Matt Hughes back in the day and coming back. I've always been a big fan of Diego Sanchez ever since the, uh, the Ultimate Fighter. Interesting fight. You know, Matt Hughes known for his uh, wrestling and Diego Sanchez known for his uh, crazy cardio, which, you know, everybody's cardio is going to be tested in Denver, Mile High City, but uh, obviously I think Diego Sanchez has a cardio advantage over Matt Hughes. But I think Matt Hughes' striking has gotten a lot better. In the past couple years, you know, his wrestling is still amazing. Uh, I think he will dictate this fight. I think he can outstrike Diego Sanchez, and I obviously think that he can out-wrestle him. Uh, so I'm taking Matt Hughes on this one. 
Moving on, we have Travis Brown versus Rob Broughton. Uh, heavyweight bout. I'm actually picking uh, Travis Brown on this one. If you go back and look, uh, Rob Broughton has had one fight in the UFC. Uh, decent record. He's 15-5-1. Travis Brown, undefeated. He had that draw against uh, Chuck Congo. But he just won his last fight against Stephen Strew. So I think Travis Brown is going to win this fight. Um, I, don't, I don't know how it's going to end. I would like to see Travis Brown knock him out. But obviously I'd like to see uh, all my picks knock their opponents out. Uh, next fight on the main card, we have Nate Diaz versus Takanori Gomi. They've been hyping this fight up a lot. Maybe because uh, they don't have much of a rest of a card. So I've seen this fight uh, advertised more than the Matt Hughes-Diego Sanchez fight, which is way more interesting to me and to a lot of other people, I think. Uh, I'm taking Nate Diaz in this fight. Nate Diaz uh, is a lot more, I don't want to say a lot more experience because Takano Oregon does have a lot of experience. But I'll say upper level experience for uh, Nate Diaz. And I think he does have a better overall game than Takano Oregon. I think it's going to be a great fight, though. I think that's my pick for uh, for fight of the night since I don't really see any of these other ones being that great. Uh, John Jones' fight, uh, it's going to end quickly. Matt Hughes versus Diego Sanchez could be a fight of the night, but uh, I think Matt Hughes will finish that one as well. But I am taking Nate Diaz over Takanori Gummy. And then the last fight, I don't know where this guy... I don't know where they picked up this guy. Mark Hunt. MMA record of 6-7. and seven. Mark Hunt against Ben Rothwell, who I think he's 31-7. and seven. I'll check that. He's 31-7. and seven. You know, he's got some big wins under his belt. Uh, he did lose to Cain Velasquez, but so did everybody else. He just beat uh, Gilbert Ivel, the UFC 115. So it has been uh, June to September. It has been a while since his last fight, but... God, why, you know, Mark Hunt, just a complete nobody, really, bringing him in, uh, disappointing. But I am taking Ben Rothwell to knock out Mark Hunt. Should be pretty easy. Again, Mark Hunt, MMA record of 6-7. and seven. He's a kickboxer, but Ben Rothwell has some, uh, has some heavy hands, and I think he's going to finish Mark Hunt. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about uh, UFC 134 and the upcoming UFC 135. Peace.